Stars are tracing the sky like city windows. I watch you reflect in your eyes. Slow dance on the New York City high rise. You and me on top of the world. And I'm feeling like it was only a dream. And I'm feeling like it was Just stole 300 euros from us. Europe car.
bread just fall into the super dirty floor. So something happened back in August When we were way up in the mountains And I just asked you to be honest Ended up coming down without you It has been through therapy that I was able to develop over the years a more flexible mindset and I would say more flexible personality, which has been key to overcome all the challenges that we had to go through the past weeks and the past years. Because when you are flexible, you become more adaptable and you have more self-awareness and all the situation could trigger you disappointment, sadness or anger, you no longer get stuck into those emotions. You recognize them as just that, emotions, and you are able to cope with them. So now you have the tools to not get stuck into a problem by becoming a problem solver. So I'm really happy to introduce today's sponsor, BetterHelp. I have talked many times about how therapy has changed me and gave me those tools to cope with these stressful situations and a situation that before would paralyze me for days and get me into a rabbit hole of sadness, disappointment or anger no longer does. It has helped me to gain control over my life because sometimes you cannot control what happens outside of you but you can control how you manage those situations and how you cope with them. BetterHelp will help you to connect with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you those helpful tools. When you click in my link betterhelp.com slash Eugenia Diaz, you will start by filling out a quick questionnaire just to assess what your specific needs are and they will match you with one of the over 30,000 therapists in their network who has year of experiences helping people. Therapy is done from the comfort of your own home and you can do it via phone call, video call or messaging, whatever way is easier and feels more comfortable to you. Visit betterhelp.com slash Eugenia Diaz or choose Eugenia Diaz when signing up to get the 10% of your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you.
This plant grew so much during one year, but I felt super stuck because the plant was tilting because it was too big compared to the pot size. But then I got these ceramic pots, so I didn't know what to do. Um, after half an hour searching for a plastic vase, I think I found one that is a bit bigger than this one that I have but that I still fits inside so finally after months I'm going to transplant this one into a bigger pot I think that it's amazing how much these tiny plants grew in just one year I think I might cut it a bit lower than this just because I don't like to see the green edge This one looks bigger to me, so we'll just go ahead and transplant it in this one.
all right, new task. I got these plants a few weeks ago with the idea of transplanting them in the garden down the hill, but because the flooding happened, I had to cancel those plants and I will have to think an alternative place for them until I figure out a way to fix the flood. So what I'm thinking to do now, because they are suffering in the bases they came in, is to transplant them in a garden bed that right now is almost empty, it's not fully empty. I have the physalis, the dahlia bulbs, um, some mint. I got proteas because the idea with these plants was one, to have flowers that I could use as cut flowers, like the protea one, which is one of my favorite flowers. And then I got this type of eucalyptus bash, which is the one that you use for flower arrangements. And then I also wanted to get flowers that could add some color during the winter because there are not that many flowers that you can grow during winter or at least flowers that actually give a pop of color. And then I learned about hellebores, which in Portuguese I found out in a store that are called Christmas flowers because they flower during the Christmas season. So I got a few different shades of colors. Some are looking better than others, like the stalk is rotting. really excited about this. I'm going to start with my sweet potatoes slips and I have actually waited all this winter for this. I have this year two purple sweet potatoes. It was in my local co-op last, I think it was last October and I didn't know they were purple. I bought a few just because they look kind of different from the variety that I grew and when we cooked them they were purple and I was really excited because I don't know if these are the Japanese sweet potatoes or not. I was able to save two of them because I only got I think five of them so I could keep growing these ones year after year and maybe have bigger harvests. So for this year I will have two of these purple sweet potatoes, which I'm really excited. I have this orange one that it's from us. I have another two small ones. 
So today I'm going to start them. If you haven't started them yet, this is a good time. It is usually the time of the year that I tend to start them around middle March. You still have more time, it's fine. I might start more because sweet potatoes grow quite well here. They don't really mind the clay soil and maybe this year in the other garden I'm able to fix more soil and I can plant more of them. Last year I planted them in just one garden bed intercolop with many stuff like tomatoes, green beans and flowers but if I can this year we like to grow more of them because I really like them and during winter I crave them a lot Because this one is really thin and small, and this one is much more wide. 